Below are shown five configurations of a charged particle's velocity vector v moving in some direction with respect to a magnetic field vector b. If we were asked to rank the magnetic force on the charged particle from largest to smallest for each of these five con configurations, we could do so using the form of the vector cross product for the magnetic force. The largest force in any of these pictures is actually case D. We know that in magnitude, the vector cross product is the product of the two magnitudes of the vectors times the sine of the angle between them. In case D, the velocity vector is stated to be twice as big as the other velocity vectors in the four other pictures. So we have a factor of two right here. However, the angle between these two vectors is 45 degrees, and the sine of 45 degrees is 1 divided by the square root of 2. When multiplied by that previous factor of 2, case D has a magnitude for the force of square root of 2 times Q times V times B. The next largest is A. In this case, because the angle is 90 degrees between the velocity vector and the magnetic field, the sine of that angle 90 degrees is 1, and the magnetic magnitude of the force is Q times V times B, about 40% smaller than case D. The next largest case is case E. E has a magnitude of Q times V times B divided by the square root of 2, where that last divided by square root of 2 comes from the fact that it's the sine of 45 degrees between the B field and the velocity vector. Both B and C have a magnetic force of 0 because the angle between the velocity and the B field is either 0 or 180 degrees, and the sine of both 0 and 180 is 0.